Hi, half for half around the house. We've got a very dirty battery. Check this out. No freaking good. So we're gonna clean it. Come over here and we'll show you. We have baking soda that I just put into a uh, Parmesan cheese dispenser, some water. And you put a good amount in. Like that. Very scientific. Mix it up. Sour cream. Now I've heard that you can use very hot water on batteries. Um, dump boiling water on it, but I don't want to dump boiling water on a battery for pretty obvious reasons. So we'll take our baking soda laden water, dump it over this. Magic. Now see what that's doing is that's neutralizing. As this charges from your alternator, wherever the F that is in here, somewhere there's an alternator. I don't even know where it is. Down there. Yeah, down on the bottom of the engine somewhere. But that charges us up and it releases acid from your battery and it collects on these. Very important to keep it clean or else come some January or February night, you're gonna to go to start it and you're boned. So we like not to be boned as much as possible. So now we can scrub her down a little bit if you've got one. If you don't, don't worry about it. Not that big of a deal. Now we also have a little bit more water we're gonna rinse it with, but I think you get the gist. Look at that. Look how nice and clean that comes. And all that is is a chemical reaction. It's just neutralizing that acid. This battery's not that old. What, two or three years? Uh, Six, 622 is when it was made. Another little thing is if you're looking for a new battery, make sure to get the newest battery you can. Show them that, that sticker, will you? See that 622 right there? Yeah, you want to get the newest battery you can because the longer they sit around, the more wear they have. Now, we may have to clean this again. Um, I might do another round of that, but you understand. To keep it clean and also grab them and make sure they're tight, and these are tight. And also make sure your battery's tight, and it is. Even though the strap is rotten in half, it's rotten. Look at that. Um, it doesn't matter. This has clamps down here. So we're going to do one more cleaning of this, but you get the gist of how to keep your battery clean. Okay, a point I forgot to mention was to put some grease on it. Now this just happens to be disc temp, uh, disc brake high temp bearing grease. I don't care what kind of grease. If I just had number two grease, I would just do that. So you just take your grease, slather it all over the place. And you want to get a decent coat on there, not enough to go crazy with. And make sure it's dried off so it'll stick. But that looks so much better than when we started. Um, and this will help to keep it from getting all covered with that blue fuzz again. Um, and in actuality, this actual clamp is kind of getting corroded. So at some point, we, we may want to change that. But at this point, it'll still run. It'll run just fine like that. So just coat it up with that, like that, and that'll help keeping it uh, help keep it from getting all corroded again, just like that. Isn't that beautiful? I think they sell a spray. I've never used a spray. I've always just done this, and this works pretty good. So there it is. Half for half around the house. If you liked the video, hit the like button. Consider subscribing to our channel. Thanks for watching. See you next time.